Hello, my name is Trevor Bailey. I'm the application expert from San Diego, California. Today I'm going to share with you some new enhancements to Mastercam's 2024 3D High Speed Waterline Toolpath. Mastercam 3D High Speed Waterline Toolpaths are typically used for finishing and semi finish operations. Constant Z slices are applied along the model and are best suited for surfaces whose angles are between roughly 30 and 90 degrees. In Mastercam 2024, We've enhanced this toolpath to provide better control and efficiency. So let's take a look at some examples of a few toolpaths I have created. As we can see from this example, we have a stock model used for actual stock, then followed by an opti rough toolpath, and then another stock model that will represent the programming from OP1 and 2. I will then flip the part over, again using an opti rough toolpath to rough out the model, followed by another stock model. With the part being roughed out on both sides, I will show you a waterline toolpath using the stock model to reference our existing Mastercam 2023 waterline toolpath. If we take a look at what happens here, we see that we have unnecessary tool motion below the part that the material was removed in a previous operation. Specifically, we have a lot of extra motion cutting air below the part. If we also look at the shallow areas of the part, there's a chance that there's going to be a scallop that's too thick for a finishing tool to take off by itself, so we'll need to remove some of this extra material in the shallow areas. So let's copy this operation and explore some new functionality. In toolpath parameters of this new toolpath we just copied, I want to look at under stock. We're going to turn on our first enhancement. This is called DTAC Stock Breakthrough. This will help eliminate unnecessary air cuts as the toolpath is now looking at the stock model. While we're here, let's go ahead and look at one other new enhancement called Allow Partial Cuts. This new enhancement adds or removes tool motion from only the shallow areas of the part and does not create a complete pass around the part. So let's click OK and show the benefits of these new features have on the toolpath. First, let's look at those partial cuts we just enabled. There are smaller partial cuts in the shallow areas and this helps provide a more uniform model for finishing. As we mentioned earlier, there are partial passes and do not completely pass around the part. Now for the detect stock breakthrough setting. Here we see that the toolpath is removed in areas where there is no stock below a previous pass. This increases the efficiency of the waterline toolpath motion by eliminating the extra air passes. Thank you for allowing me to show you these new enhancements of Mastercam's 2024 3D waterline toolpath.